What's up guys, this is Mana, and this is going to be a quick video on how I'm feeling about Hardcore Classic WoW, my experience in here, uh, what I like, uh, my dislikes, etc. So let's go ahead and cue that intro and let's get into what I like and dislike and my experience within Hardcore Classic WoW. So a little bit about myself, um, I've been playing MMORPGs for a long time. I played World of Warcraft Classic as a kid, but I really never delved into it until Wrath of the Lich King. I basically only collected hunter pets. I went ahead and go to armor merchants and buy the white armor and I was like so happy because my character is getting a different cosmetic and it was changing. And that was me as a little kid learning what the heck an MMORPG was and learning that your character evolves through time while you play. And that was just really amazing for me. Um, back when you know they relaunched, well, they, you know they redid classic, they relaunched it so people could play. I played until level 20, and all my friends stopped. So that's basically when I gave up because I'm like, you know what, I don't have no one to play with. What the heck's the matter with this? And then here comes hardcore classic WoW, which which I right now I'm so close to being a level 30 warrior, and I'm enjoying the hell out of it, guys. Uh, hardcore classic wow is just such a game changer for me because when i normally played world of warcraft i'm just diving into the enemies i don't care if i die obviously in hardcore if you die that's it it's a delete boom you're out of there so it basically differs you have to play the game differently you have to play the game strategically and you can't just bum rush in there you actually have to worry about your professions because your professions are like number one big thing here like my warrior is running engineering and these freaking training dummies has gotten me out of many sticky situations alongside other people going with alchemy and herbalism so they could stack their potions and just get their healing potions their mana potions and other people just going gathering professions or leather working tailoring just so they can make their money to get their mount and to just to fund their character through hardcore professions matter what you choose matters what you do matters it's it everything matters here it's all up to you and it's just really fun that it comes right down to it like i said it's a really different iteration of world of warcraft that i've played compared to retail and compared to the little bit i played for classic as for dungeons and the community it's really great it's been booming it's been popping i've been in the middle of crossroads for i always have crossroads as my hearthstone i don't care because there's always something going on in crossroads when i use my hearthstone there are a lot of mock garage battles and if you don't know what mock garage battles are basically it's a duel to the death so whoever wins this duel basically gets an ear and it's like oh he has one ear he's basically killed one person the mock garage obviously the person that dies it's not going to be here with us anymore within the game. Um, but you can also run away from battle, but then you'll be called a coward throughout the whole server, which is just crazy and it's insane. I just love the how the community is just so into this. Oh, look, the coward. He got the three day debuff for being a coward. And it's it's really cool. Like I said, the community is really brought into this, man. Like I said, the, the cities are booming. The villages are booming. If you're doing an elite quest, people will invite you so you get the tag on the kill or just get help with it. It's really cool to see how the community just gets together for this and they're just enjoying the game. It's really fun. And I've been having so much fun playing Classic WoW, man. Well, Classic Hardcore WoW, I should say. Uh, would I recommend people to do this? Like, heck yeah. This is something magical that's happening right now within the MMORPG community to get together and to, to see an MMO booming again and an MMO actually being hard with leveling and the outside world content actually being hard is something that's really different. There's not a lot of modern day MMOs that you play that the outdoor content is actually really hard. Normally the outdoor content is easy and these modern day MMOs are just focusing on the end game which is understandable people people love the end game content i love end game content as well 
but there's just something about going into a new area and just pure danger craziness these mobs are hard to kill you have to like strategically decide how you're going to approach this mob what you're going to do what section of the map you want to go to it's just really fun and just adds another gameplay core value that hardcore just has that other mmos really don't have at the moment it's just really fun and i really hope that people actually dive in here and the reason why i hope people dive into this basically hardcore classic wow is because i'm pretty sure after a while it's probably going to lose its magic right now is the best time to jump in while it's fresh so you can see everybody running around everybody having fun and just be a part of the community and you'll be like wow this is actually pretty insane look at everybody pulling look at people helping each other look at all this stuff look at all the dungeon runs going man it's it's really freaking cool and i'm so happy that i decided to jump on here and play like I said, I have almost a level 30 warrior, and I am so happy. This is my first character. I have not died on him, which means I've been playing really strategically, especially for a warrior. They don't really start getting good until they're level 36, I believe people were saying, and that's when they start, you know, smashing stuff. You get your whirlwind axe, you just go crazy and start doing that nice, nice, badass damage. But right now... It's pretty scary sometimes when I'm playing and I'm doing solo on my warrior because there's just so many things I got to watch out for. A lot of other classes can heal themselves. They have different types of stuff. Warriors really, uh, they got to stand there and just get hit and hope that they don't die. Just hope they don't die. Hope that, you know, the bonks that you're hitting them with your mace and you <laughs> hit them harder than what they're hitting you with. That's the life of a warrior. Zug zug life, basically, like how everybody says. <laughs> But no, every single class brings something different, which is something I love about Classic. Warlocks with their summoning and the Hellstones. And you have um, the Druids also that could bring something different. The, uh, the Shamans with their totems. And it, it's really fun that obviously your class matters in a dungeon. Your class matters when you're outside grouping up with people in an open world, giving different buffs to people, which is one thing I love. I Every time I'm walking through an area, or I'm walking somewhere else, you know, doing my quest. I get random buffs. I get freaking thorns. I get gift of uh, Mark of the Wild. I get freaking um, the Fortitude buff. And I'm like, yo, thank you. And I'm always, always saying thank you to everybody when they give me those buffs. So thank you so much to the people out there giving buffs to other random players. It makes a classic ex experience just way better seeing that the, the world just feels like it's living. Like you have people going around. You have people buffing each other. You see people doing the quest. It just feels good. And I'm not trying to bash retail because I do enjoy retail, but when you play retail and you're in the open world, you hardly see anyone. And it feels like that open world, that world is just dead and you're just there playing a single player game. And I know in retail, the really thing that matters at the end is like Mythic Plus and end game content. But if you want something that's like the world is living, um, the outdoor world is actually challenging and hard, you definitely give a try for classic if you don't want to try hardcore classic that's totally fine try out classic which there are a couple of servers that are really booming at the moment but right now what's booming like i said are the hardcore classic servers really fun i'm enjoying myself on here and i don't know what they're going to end up doing in the future with the success of these servers because so far it's been really successful uh because I've been seeing so many people dying, so many people redoing their stuff. I'm in many groups, and it's just cool to see all the content and seeing all the people come together saying, crap, I died in level 30, but I'm still going to go ahead and make a new character. It's a love and hate relationship with this game because you're like, damn, man, I leveled up so good. Oh, I love it. And then you die, and you feel some sort of like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. And it's, we're just crazy people because we decided to put all this time into one character. We die, and then we're like, you know what? Screw this. We're going again. And that's just the spirit of a hardcore classic. Wow. It's just ongoing experience. Really fun. And I guess it's just that high dopamine you're going to get when you hit level 60. Well, guys, this has basically been uh, <laughs> what I wanted to talk about for hardcore classic. Wow. I'll we'll talk about how much fun I'm having in it and how much more content I'm going to do in it as well. It's just something that I'm really loving and hopefully it continues. Uh, hopefully they either change it up in the future or do something different with it. So that way it still has its magic. It still has its freaking charm and people will still go ahead and play. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about Hardcore Classic WoW? Is it something that you're playing right now? 
uh, well, let me know what level you are. Let me know if you, how many times you've died or some things you'd want to see change or some things you want to see added or, or, you know, implemented to hardcore classic wild servers to make it better and to make it maybe more hardcore. Who knows? Maybe they'll actually have a hardcore, hardcore <laughs> wild server where it's just straight up even more hardcore than what it is right now. I have no idea if that'll happen, but that'd be pretty crazy. And I don't know if I'd do that. I like how Hardcore Classic WoW is right now. I think it's in a really good space, in a really good spot. And people should definitely jump on the damn freaking wagon of fun before the magic goes away. So yeah, thank you guys and have a great day.